Alright, um, here we are with the second version uh, of this using the side axe as a uh, spark gap. We got two of them in series. Um, here's our AV diodes. Um, we got two capacitors. This one's 0.33 microfarad, this one's 0.22. Um, actually, it might be the other way around, but there were 275 volt caps. Um, and it adds up to uh, uh, 0.12, I believe, or 0.13 uh, microfarad in series. Uh, add a little inductor in here. I don't think it's doing anything. I'm going to have to try some different things. thought maybe it would get a little inductive uh, inertia going and charge a little bit better. But I've uh, been messing around with some stuff. Right now, you see it's just sparking with uh, just a green lead hanging off. Uh, let's see, we're at... Let's see, i got to crack this. Uh, having some of the spark discharging going on has... Uh, causes my meter even to reset. The light comes on and stuff like that, so i got to kind of be careful with it. Uh, I put an inductor also in series with uh, the input. Uh, it's very fine wire. It might be just acting as a resistance, but we've lowered our current input, and usually, let's see, without the antenna on there, uh, we're at 48.5, I believe. 45.8, something like that, but it's a little bit lower. Um, that's good. Connect this back up, get the sparks going. Okay, so now we have two side decks. They actually break over in series at about 480 volts. Um, right now, I could hook up the meter between these pulses. You can see the meter rising and even hear it, um, but it doesn't exactly stop on there. You got to really get it going slow, and I have to put a bigger capacitor, but I've done it, and it, that's about where it's breaking off 480 volts. If I added another one, we'd add another 230 volts to it, whatever it is. It, it says in the, it, it could be anywhere from 220 to 250 volts, I believe it's what the, in, uh, the data sheet says. So they could vary a little bit. But um, Okay. On the end of our green lead, it's at the other end of our transformer. I just picked it up so you can hear things happening. Um, it's allowing the caps to charge. We've gotten back up to 48. Uh, we're going to just touch this little 1,000 volt capacitor to the end of the loop. It's an insulated loop around the casing, so it's another form of capacitance happening with the container, the steel container of the coil. But now we're going to attach it to the casing directly with the capacitor. And 100 and 111 milliamps. Uh, down here, getting 122 without that little inductor. So it might be just acting like a resistor, but uh, it could be helping some. See our spark going off here. This is with the capacitor. A little bit lower frequency. Get down here, a little bit lower frequency. But max power so far without having the light bulb that goes with this transformer included in the circuit. We're just using capacitive. It's going to be whatever the capacitance is between this casing and any of these coils on here. I guess I could measure that. Um, 117 milliamps. And this board really doesn't even get warm at all still. Not until we take it up to like over half of an amp draw. So, we'll 
good. These little uh, side axes, they work pretty good. They handle some a uh, little bit of juice. It seems like as I lower the capacitance and if I raise the voltage, she's still going to spark, and she's sparking like a champion. Um, if I take these capacitors and have them again and take it to a thousand volts, it's possible that uh, she'll spark just like that. And I'll put four of these in series, just be uh, right around a thousand volts for a spark gap. See how it works. See right here, she's just. Oh. See, it goes into a a mode of where it compares AC and DC sometimes. Um, and it changes actually what we're seeing because we could be looking at it in this normal mode and getting 44 and this and that. And then when it goes to that one, it's up to 135 and it shouldn't even be in that area compared to what we've been looking at. So sometimes I have to reset it. Um, it's this high voltage stuff that's doing it. Anyway, just wanted to show that. Thanks.